Hi, in this particular video I'm going to be addressing questions 1, 10 and 15 from this particular question paper that you can go to the uh, website and download. Now if you click on the link below that's in the description. Okay, so this is question 1 and it gives us a statement. It says 19 times 24 equals 456 and it asks us to write down the answers to these four questions. Okay, so the first one is relatively straightforward. If you can imagine that you have a decimal point after all of these numbers. Now in fact, this decimal point has moved one additional place. It's now become 240. So therefore we're going to move the decimal point one additional place over there. Now because we're doing that, we have to put a zero in its place. So that becomes 4,560. Okay, the second one, the decimal point again, has moved one place towards me. So I'm going to move the answer one place and that becomes 45.6. Now just as a point here that when you're doing these questions, you need to make sure that you very clearly show the decimal point. Um, it's uh, quite easy to miss sometimes, so just be very careful about these. OK, with this one, we've moved the decimal point on this set of digits by one place. However, we've also moved the decimal point on this set of digits also by one place. So, total of two, so that's going to be two places, so that's going to be 4.56. OK, in the last little bit, now this is where I'm going to just slightly depart from moving decimal points around. Um, I tend to do these by using estimation because effectively we're being asked to write down the answer and usually the division part of it is worth about two marks. Now if you have a look at this, we've got 1 and 9 which is being used here and 4, 5 and 6 which is being used here and the two digits that we're going to be using is 2 and 4. So let's just have a look at that in isolation to everything else. Well, I could really um, write that down just as a very quick rough estimate as 400 divided by 200. It's just going to give me an idea as to where the decimal point is going to fall. And if I look at that, I would say 400 divided by 200 is 2. OK, so therefore I've got 2 and 4 to use. So my answer is going to be 2 now I do appreciate that's not really dealing with moving the decimal point, but as an estimation it's a really quick and simple way of doing the calculation to make sure that you maximise your marks as much as possible. Uh, we're going to go on to the next question.